Welcome to another episode of Must See Properties. Hi, I'm Ruth Ang, your resident realtor here in Ayala West Grove Heights in the Inu Valley area. And if you want to get updates about properties here, please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell in our channel, Must See Properties. As you might know in this time of pandemic, and as we adapt to the new normal, we often crave for, to live in a community outside of Metro Manila, especially those in the south, like here at Ayala West Grove Heights. So today, we are speaking with a personality here whom we must see and from whom we definitely must hear. He and his family have resided here at West Group for 10 years already. And importantly for our community here, he is our very proficient and respected general manager of Ayala West Grove Heights, Mr. Jesse Lasaten. So welcome, welcome, and thank you for sharing your time with us, Jesse. It's good to be here. Thank you for uh, inviting me. It's a pleasure to be yes. here. Yes. Thank you. So, I'd like to start by asking, in your 10 years as resident here in West Grove, what are the things that you have grown to like and enjoy about living here? I think the best part of living in West Grove is really the community. We have a, a community that is very dynamic. Uh, ev everyone is a neighbor. Uh, and there's, unlike other villages where they are aloof. You don't know your next door neighbor. We have uh, here friends, friends, and you could, uh, the sense of community is very strong. You could go to a neighbor when you need something. You need sugar, or you need an ingredient. And, uh, for emergency, you know? Yes, yeah, for emergency. And uh, there's always something uh, happening. We have gatherings every ev almost every week and uh, that makes it really and you you have a lot of friend, friends uh, of course it really depends if you're a private person you just stay and of course uh, part of being in West Grove we have so we West Grove has so much to offer because the air mm -hmm. the, uh, air. the environment and uh, it's really peaceful here I totally agree. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and the weather, the, 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 nice, the nice weather that, that we have here, it's really perfect. Yeah. We have 602 households here, no? 565. Oh, 565. We, we now have 565 uh, residents, uh, a few who are weekenders and uh, a few are rent rentals. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're growing, and we're growing at the rate of about 80 uh, new new houses a year. Wow! So we're growing very fast. Yes, and but still, there's a lot of open space. With yes, the... there's a lot of open space because uh, one thing unique with West Grove is uh, more than 50 percent is open space, and uh, you could see that houses are are uh, well 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 built and uh, very modern uh, very modern and uh, the facilities are awesome yes <laughs> and we just keep on improving it yeah three big clubhouses now. yes 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 and then yes. 400 hectare development so. yes 500 500, uh, 500. Yeah, 500 yeah. Uh, we expanded yeah, yeah, yes yeah, yes yeah. thank you i agree yeah. the community is really nice here yeah and what are some of the annual activities that the residents can look forward to? Well, uh, we always have, uh, all throughout the year, uh, before the pandemic, of course, we, we have uh, the family, family weekend. We have a mango picking. Uh, we have tree planting, tree walks. Uh, that, that's happened. Then, of course, we have Oktoberfest in... Uh, in October, Inuman yan, and uh, October Fest, and then the Halloween, yes. then Christmas, of course, uh, the, the village Christmas party. And uh, we have small small gatherings all throughout the year that happens uh, impromptu. Yeah. 
And then, di ba, when there's a new neighbor, there's before there's parang a quarterly meet-up, Yes, diba? yes. Before the, pandem before the pandemic, uh, we have a uh, welcoming, welcoming that we welcome the new neighbors uh, quarterly or half of the year. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, in the, in, and aside from the village welcoming the new neighbors, uh, we have by sector, like yes. a, a smaller group. Uh, where where the uh, new resident is uh, located. Yes, yeah. and it's, it's, very, it's a very nice feeling to be welcomed when you're a new neighbor here in West Grove. I, we have experienced that, yeah. and thank you for yeah. those kinds of activities. Yeah. <laughs> and what are some of the most memorable experiences that you and your family had here? It's, uh, it's really... Uh, living in West Grove is the kids growing up in, in this environment. Uh, we have the parks and uh, the, uh, the feeling that your relatives, when they, they want to visit you, they want to, when they come and visit, they will stay the weekend because it's, there's a lot of open space and there's a lot of activities that you can do. So that, that is special. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, family members uh, uh, always look forward to visit us. For staycations. Yeah. Then, yes, no? yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Thank you for that. So, parang West Group is all about nurturing relationships, no? Yes, yes, yes it's it is. It's a venue for nurturing yes, relationships. Yes, it is, yes, it is, yes, uh -huh. it is, yeah. There's a lot yeah. of bonding activities for the relatives and for yeah. the family. Yeah. 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 For the neighbors, yeah. thank and you. And for the neighbors, we have different groups, uh, a lot of groups, especially when uh, Viber came about. You know, we have we have a group for the Zumba, the tennis group, all the sports group, the biking group. The golf. The golf. <laughs> uh, we have a big golf group, the, uh, tennis, badminton. Uh, Before I heard, lot. they had a, like a painting group? A group yes, there's, there's also, there, there were also weekly painting uh, uh, painting classes being held and uh, we hold exhibits of uh, mm -hmm. these are paintings for our residents yes. then there are groups for viber groups for running those who love yes to run. everything all the possible Bike, activities yeah. yes and yes. the night walkers yeah the, night walkers the uh, Kadla. Kadla is the, <laughs> Kadla is a big walking group yeah who loves yeah. to walk around West yes, Grove. Yes, yes, And yes. outside also, no? Yes, and outside. Uh, you also yeah. organize yeah. Uh, activities outside of West yes, Grove. Yes, Very yes. nice community. Yeah. So, GM, you started your term as GM last June 2020. Yeah. Just a couple of months after the start of the pandemic. So, in looking back at 2020 and 2021, can you highlight some of the developments that you oversaw and some of the things that you and your management team are proud of? Yeah. Well, one of the things is uh, security. Yeah. Security, uh, I'm proud to say that uh, for the past 20 months, we, we have zero burglaries. There are two alleged, uh, alleged break-ins, but those two alleged, uh, alleged uh, break-ins upon investigation by the PNP are inside jobs, so we can we cannot really uh, we cannot really uh, count that. But uh, b basically, it's uh, really more secure now. Plus, uh, one of the projects that uh, we're we're about to finish now and complete is uh, phase one of our CCTV uh, system, where in in the critical areas of the village, uh, we're able we're able to install. Uh, CCTV cameras with motion sensors oh. uh, and infrared infrared uh, sensors at night. So it will help our security uh, greatly because uh, you know when something moves there, yes. it, uh, security will be alerted uh, right away. Yeah. And uh, that's phase one. And uh, of course, we're going to uh, to do phase two, wherein include more uh, more of these sensors. Yeah. And then, of course, another project uh, would be, of course, maintaining our beautiful, True. beautiful village. Yeah. I saw that you've been renovating the three clubhouses, right? 
Yeah, the we, playground in Kids Grove. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Comfort we, rooms yeah, in yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there are less activities, we took it. Uh, we we took the time to really improve these facilities. We're also able to, uh, of course, uh, install a new, the proper uh, guard house in Makiling. Uh, yes, 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 of course. That's that's also one. And our uh, our boom barriers are now working. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Of course, we're able to to organize vaccination for vaccination program for our residents, so they yes. don't have to go to uh, go and line up in the vaccination centers. And uh, aside from that, we're able to host the other villages as well. And of course, our grounds maintenance uh, is, is keeping uh, keeping West Grove. <laughs> Really running and uh, really running and uh, and beautiful. Make, maintain it, make, maintain uh, it to be more beautiful. And uh, what else? Major major uh, accomplishment. Uh, we're able to reduce cost, of course, uh, so that we don't have to uh, we don't have to uh, raise our juice this year. Yes. And, uh, yes. Yeah, those 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 are some. Uh, and I I love the thing that you do when there's a family who have COVID, and then you send a COVID kit, a care kit. Uh, no? yes, yes, Very that, touching. yes, that's oh. uh, that's a uh, that's part of the project of our uh, board. Our current mm -hmm. board are very supportive now, and uh, it's the least we could do to uh, yes, make everyone yes. feel that they're not really isolated and mm -hmm. make them feel that we are here. Yeah. Whatever you need, whatever you need, because. Uh, dealing with this pandemic is really difficult, so yes, we yes. try to make it as less painful as possible yes. for any family that uh, gets contracted with COVID. Mm -mm. Yeah. I, I would like to thank you for that effort and then you also do what you can to help out, send uh, supplies no, to the yeah. family who have yeah. COVID. It's, Talaga, it's a team ano? effort, it's a team mm -hmm. of Efforts, not just on me. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah, yeah. yes. And the neighbors also offer to help, no? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. We have a lot of neighbors who are really yes. go out of their way to help also. True, yeah. true. It's so touching. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the time of year again when we pay our association dues yes. for West Grove <laughs> yes, yes, at 79.40 yes. pesos per square meter. Yes. How yes. much discount can property owners get when they pay before the January 31 deadline? They they get a 10% discount uh, and uh, unfortunately we cannot extend it to February. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Lot owners can uh, can pay this uh, through any BPI. We have an uh, we have an account in BPI. Even uh, lot owners who are abroad, mm -hmm. it's very convenient for them to easily pay. Yeah. We'll just show it on the screen and the you, the account number. Yes. We'll just yes. 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 You can the, you get that uh, account that, details yeah, yeah. in your in your statement of account. Yes, of course, yes. you have it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh -oh. And. Uh, when does a property owner start getting penalties for unpaid dues? My penalties. Uh, oh, meron, meron man. <laughs> March 1. Oh. March 1. So, you discount hanggang January 31. Okay. Then, wala nang discount ng February. Then, March 1, may penalties na yan. Okay. Yeah. And still, our association just is one of the lowest in the area. No? Yes, compared to our neighboring villages who have less facilities and, uh, uh, and not as beautiful as our village, yes. we we are we are very low. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Some clients are even shocked that our rates pala are annual per yes. year. Na pala yun yung seventy nine point forty yes, pesos yes, per yes, square yes, meters yes. because. Some of the clients uh, of our clients come from condominiums in Makati, yes, yes. and that rate is a monthly due. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Agree, agree, agree. Yes, yes. Agree, so, agree. Uh, briefly, po, what, where do our association dues go, and which are our highest priority expenses as an association? Yeah, highest priority, of course, is security, mm -hmm. and then our grounds maintenance. We have to maintain. This beautiful village, <laughs> you need a lot of uh, grass cutting and really maintaining the beautiful parks and uh, 
we have we we have so many parks. True, true. And how many parks, ba? Yeah, we have four. Yeah, oh, oh. yeah, we have the, four. We have we have the uh, of Central course the, Park. this is uh, this is Central Park. Yeah, Central Park. We have a mini park. We have the Enclave Park. Uh, we have the Greenbelt Park. Oh, we have five, and we have the Orchard Park. Ay, yes, yes. Oh. Yeah, um, orchard. So five, five, five. How many hectares yet? Uh, total parks or for the orchard park? That's the biggest. No, not not uh, not really sure about uh, still, Central Park. Still, uh, uh, still the, the, the biggest. biggest, the biggest uh, park. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, West Grove has a beautiful connection to nature with breathtaking views, lots of green open areas, bike trails, and park spaces to to enjoy. So what are some of the future plans that you have to further improve or even beautify West Grove? Yeah, well, uh, one of the projects that uh, I really wanted to do is, uh, is a longer walking trail. Like, 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 like the dirt, you'll, you'll find this uh, walking trail along our perimeter fences and mm -hmm. uh, then suddenly there's, there's a secret garden, secret oh. Japanese garden. Of course, this takes time. And there's uh, there's also a walking path that uh, you know e that could also be senior friendly uh, for those in wheelchair. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. Those, but it takes it takes time to develop those. Uh, one of the projects that was uh, approved by our board this year is uh, the putting green mm -hmm. for the putting green uh, for our golfers because the biggest sports group in. In West Grove is uh, the golfers, and uh, and we, we don't have a facility here. So, and uh, although South Forbes is just nearby, yeah, yeah, but I, I think the the putting green will help our golfers uh, improve their game, yes. and it will help beautify West yeah. Grove, and uh, will will uh, help also increase the property values. True, true. Yeah. And also the bonding, it will yes, foster yes, more yes, bonding moments. Yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Exciting. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And any message that you would like to share or impart to those considering to buy a property at the Yellow West Grove Heights as an investment or as their family's home? Yeah. Well, the I would I would I would say that uh, I would say that. Those who are considering uh, Ayala West Group should see Ayala West Group as it is. Don't just look at the lot. Don't just look at the property values. Look at uh, the advantages of living in a West Group uh, in in a mature community compared to a newly developed uh, Ayala property because it's just different. Because it it took West Group uh, the current uh, the current status of West Group now. It took. 25 years or more to get to where it is now so if you're buying from a new Ayala property then it will take a long time before it's fully developed unlike now we have a community on it, which is I think uh, uh, the best uh, the best selling point point for West Grove is really the community it's the best place to uh, raise your kids especially for those uh, with young young kids and those yeah. really starting out and of course the best Retirement. I want to retire here, of course. Yeah. yeah. Though you're so young <laughs> still to yeah, retire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful sharing with us. We are really excited for your plans, and I think our viewers are also thankful for what you've shared with us. We've been speaking with Mr. Jesse Lassaten the General Manager of Ayala West Grove Heights. Do share your comments, reactions, or other questions on the comment box below. We'd love to hear about them. And as always, for more updates and property options of Ayala West Grove Heights and the Novali area, do contact us and make sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell in our channel, Must See Properties. We upload a new video every Thursday. See you!